Listen close. The Empress spoke only in half-truths. For you to know the tale of Orpheus, you must know the tale of Gith and of Lacketh. Mm -hmm. Long ago, when we rose up against our gay slavers, Mother Gith made for the Hells to secure an alliance with the Archdevil Tiamat. Tiamat gifted the Githyanki our red dragons. Gith remained in the Hells, and Tiamat's envoy proclaimed Vlakith our ruler. The first Vlakith of many. It is Vlakith 157 whom my people now call Queen. Yes. Our current queen has claimed undeath and reigned for a thousand years. Okay. But it was the first whom Orpheus tried to slay. Orpheus was, is, Gith's only son. He led his mother's own honor guard in a coup against Vlakith I. It was Kithrak Vos himself who slayed the prince in vicious battle. Or so the Varshas teach us. Yet the prince of the comet's been with us. Subdued by that repugnant illithid. Yeah. Should Orpheus go free, he would tear Vlakith's empire to pieces and build new glory from the scraps. Okay. The seed and the sower. Every word Voss spoke, he spoke true. Orpheus is the living proof of the Queen's lies. And the living weapon that conquered our geich slavers. One word from his lips, and the people would doubt. Two words, and they would rage. Three words, and they would bow to the true heir. Hmm. If the Githyanki are to be free, the Prince of the Comet must lead the way. Alrighty.